Hi and welcome to C-Sharp Programming. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to use the timer element. So let's go to the Visual Studio IDE and see how we can use the timer element. So first of all before I um, incorporate the timer element I'm first going to go to common controls and insert a picture box okay so I've got a picture box here and I'm going to resize my form and then inside this picture box I'm going to select an image from my desktop and this image I'm going to import it's on my desktop and it's a green traffic light but as you can see there's also a yellow and a red so it's actually just the yellow and red so i'm going to go to size mode and stretch so this picture box is now the green light red is when the red light is on and yellow is when the yellow light is on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the image every two seconds so every two seconds the light will change from green to yellow, from yellow to red, from red to green again. And how do I do this two seconds? Now, we know C-sharp progr programming using Windows Forms are event-driven. So meaning when we click on it, something happens. But how do we do a timer? So that's where the timer element comes into play. The timer element you can get at components and timer so you double click on timer but the timer component is not added onto the form it's a behind the scenes component so let's go and play with this timer element and see how it will work so what we will do is we will enable the timer firstly in our properties if you click on timer you will see timer one properties enable true so we will enable this timer and then we've got something that they we call interval now interval is the um, amount of milliseconds okay so every hundred milliseconds something will happen and that something is a tick so if we go to events you will see there's a tick event so every 100 milliseconds, a tick will occur, and that is an event. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this now to 2,000. So 2,000 is 2 seconds. So every 2 seconds, we are going to change the image, okay, so in order to give the idea of the traffic light changing color. So what we will do is in the behavior we will double click and create a event that's timer one tick so let's start so what we will do is we will create a um, public variable inside class now inside class what we will do is we will create a decimal value and we're going to call it decimal, um, let's call it light, decimal light. And decimal light will have an initialized value of zero. Okay. And then what we will do is, each time a tick occur, we are going to increment um, this decimal to keep track of which image we need to load inside this picture box so let's see how we will do this so first of all I'm going to ask if light that's the variable now if light is equal to zero I'm going to change the light variable to one and then I'm going to say else if the light variable is equal to 
to 1, I'm going to change the light variable to 2. And then else, um, else, and then we don't have to have a condition for else. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say if the light is then 2, I'm going to change it back to 0. So we're going to work with 0, 1, and actually 2. So just to make it maybe nice, we can add that condition, but the else will pick it up in any case. So if light, oops, is there a spelling mistake? Else if, oops, there's it. It's not a spelling mistake, double equal sign, sorry. So, if light is 0, we change light to 1. If light is 1, we change light to 2. If light is 2, we change it back to 0. And then what we do here is we change the picture box image. So let's go back to the picture box, to the um, properties, and we've got image there. So let's see how we will do this. So I'm going to say picture box dot image location is equal to now a location so what i'm going to do is green yellow and red let's double or right click on it get the properties and you will see there's the location of that specific picture so i'm going to copy that and i'm going to insert this but now this is um, c sharp text so one um, backslash is actually to indicate a escape sequence so for an actual backslash in text we need to have two backslashes so that's just some string properties of c sharp programming so for one backslash we need actually two backslashes so that's the escape sequence for a backslash so what we will do now is when light is zero, so we're going to say zero is green, so the light is already green, we're going to change it to yellow.png. And let's go and double check yellow small letters, yellow PNG. Great. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this for each one of these. So if it's yellow, I'm going to change it to red. And if it's red, I change it back to green. So every tick, um, the picture box will change picture each and every time. And this light public variable is going to keep track of which light is on. So this public variable, we need to make it public. We can't make it local to this function because otherwise it's not going to keep track of which light is actually on. So if I build and run now this application, let's see how it will work. So red, two seconds, green, two seconds, yellow, two seconds, red. Great. So now we know that um, we can change the light um, and we can actually then change the picture in the picture box and we have a public variable to keep track. So what we can add now is we know that the green light is normally um, a little bit longer on than the yellow light. So let's say the red light and this is now red. Okay, so let's just do this. Um, adding a comment here, red, this is green, and this is yellow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to play around with this timer um, properties, the interval, to change the interval to um, a different interval, so that the green light is not um, just on for two seconds and the yellow is two seconds and the red is two seconds, but we're going to 
make the yellow yellow one second the red two seconds and the green three seconds so one two and then three so the green is a little bit longer on so let's check if we can actually go and do this so what I what we're going to do is I'm going to say timer one dot interval is now equal to this is now for green so let's make it 3000 for red I'm going to make the timer one dot interval I'm going to make it 2000 and then for the yellow I'm going to say timer one dot interval I'm making the yellow just 1000 so one second so now if I run this let's see what's going to happen great one second one two one two three one one two one two three and there you have it so now we've got an actual robot with three seconds on green one second on yellow two seconds on red and that's how we use the timer element to create um, events based on the time of that um, timer element to run that interval and that intervals is in milliseconds so a thousand milliseconds gives us one second and we can do certain things by using the timer one event tick thank you ladies and gentlemen for watching i hope you've learned something and i hope to see you soon